In the Mint's maturity model there exist six towers. The higher up the tower you are, the farther away you can see the enemy or the friend coming. The first tower is the People Tower. It's the most important one. It's the one considering the way people are focused and people are closing in the gaps that naturally exist in organizations over changes. The second one is about methods and techniques. It provides the structure needed in order to focus the organization and to have optimum results. The third tower is the customer tower. That's also a very important one because the customer pays for the bills. So it's the focus of the customer on the performance of the organization. The fourth one is about the realization. It's the way we come to results. Do we have an effective way to get the results or do we have difficulties in obtaining them? The fifth one is about knowledge. Knowledge is only valuable in the heads and the minds of the people. So uh, knowledge is not valuable in books in the cupboard. The sixth one is about supporting services. How do we support the people doing the work in the organization administratively? Do we focus on projects as well as we do, do on the line management functions? If we look at the towers, they all have five different levels. This crappy looking tower has only three, but it's only an illustration. The first level of activities is uh, the basic one, and that's the one where everybody tries to survive. Everybody is happy that yet another day they were not fired. The second one is the process level. This is the one where people know that they have a certain knowledge and that that knowledge is rewarded and appreciated, but nobody understands them yet. That only happens at the third level, where groups are interacting and cooperating together. The fourth level is the supply chain level. That's the level where in the chain organizations work in close cooperation into uh, realizing optimum results. The fifth level is the quality level, where we strive for maximum quality of delivery. Each level in each tower may or may not, that's up to the one doing the measurement, contain five different criteria at each level. The first criterion is about leadership. Do we stay ahead of the enemy or the competition? B, the criterion B is about staffing. Do we have the proper people on board? C is about the policy. Uh, is there indeed a policy? And if the going gets tough, do the managers really support the organization and the people individual? D is about the means. Do we really have the means to accomplish what we want to accomplish? Or if there's a little less money, uh, what do we do? How do we alter it? And the final criterion is instructions. Do the people know what they have to do in order to obtain maximum results? This is a very brief summary of the MINTS model. I thank you for your attention.